But we're gonna do it. We're gonna put them on the thing. There we go. Now you go teach yourself how to walk, baby. Learn to walk. Learn to walk. Learn to walk. <laughs> there we go. See, and she's off. Charlotte, let's get the next one lined up. Let me pick on, um, I about to say pick on. Let me go pick up my, my, let me see what my son up to. Make sure he's picking all these flowers. There we go. Oh, there's a flower over here. You missed son. But I'm going to let him enter the pieing contest and whatnot. He could play smack a, a gnome. He can, uh, oh, he can't buy for apples right now. Okay, contest is over. Well, he was going to start his own contest. Why can't he start his own contest? pay for like face painting and stuff and then he could, I guess he could get his little picture taken that's cute now you ain't going into the photo booth you gotta pick them flowers up and then I'll just let him um do what he want after that let me see how she doing she went back to sleep uh uh wait did this one already learn how to walk bless your heart she done did it yeah we want you to grow up well um we missing stuff why didn't you take her out yet she was supposed to do something we wanted to teach her how to walk. Madison, I think that's Madison. Put Madison in there. And we forgot to even set her up for talking. So, talk, 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 talk. Now you learn how to walk, baby girl. Learn how to walk. There we go. Ah, oh, my children, so wonderful learning stuff without me. Charlotte's extremely exhausted, but she does need to clean everything because her son's a little clean freak and he'll be upset if it's not clean. He can't use it. So, so I can't put another baby in there. I, what's the limit? Because I don't know what the limit is on how many children you could put in here. I would love to know. <laughs> I, I, maybe the limit's four, but then like this one could do this activity, that one could do that activity. Or maybe you can only put two. I don't know. I, I'll test that one day, but I don't feel like testing it today. I would like to send Charlotte to bed because she's tired. Ugh, she's too tired to clean. Great. Anyway, I'm going to check on our son. He's at the fair. It's getting late. So we probably don't want him out for too much longer, especially since he's cold. Aw. Um, did he pick up all those flowers from Mommy like a good boy? Because if he didn't, Mama going to be a little bit mad about it. See, he ain't pick up these Cosmos. Cosmos, lots of money. That's like $200. You better come pick up these Cosmos. And I'm going to let him um, do some more grab a prize and whack a mole and, and smack a hoe and enter the Apple Bob contest if he want. Sammy. Oh, yeah, that's that other one. Had baby try to name it Um, Sammy. Was trying to copy me. Okay, baby learn how to walk. Let's get back to the house and see this. Come on, we missed a party. Listen, you know, parties are nice and whatnot, but I'm, I'm, I'm raising up my kids. That's far more important. Now, baby learned how to talk. Let me see. Is she still learning how to walk? She's still learning how to walk. You got to keep um walking, baby. Keep learning how to walk. She almost done. There you go. Keep walking, baby. Keep walking. Don't stop yet. There we go. And look at all the points Charlotte is collecting. Look at that. She got 20 thou, baby. It's... It's... Oh, he's a little trigger-treater. Well, now he gonna wake me the hell on up. I <laughs> do ask to leave. Nah, I'll give him his tricks and treats. It is Halloween. I know my son would have rather be uh, trick-or-treating and stuff like that. But he had fun at the fair. Got some flowers. He don't have no tickets though. I thought he would have some tickets. We coming to give you your candy. We didn't even have no Halloween decorations outside. I don't think I have any downloaded into this particular game. Uh, we we have a kid in common. Anyway, happy Halloween. Goodbye. Look at her. She looks. She's like, mm, I could do you. <laughs> I did your pappy. <laughs> Charlotte's a hot mess. I know Charlotte's tired, but I want to let the kids out of there because they're not really that tired, but I don't want to keep them in the playpen if they don't have to be in the playpen. Oh, she's facing the wrong way. But I'll pick her up. You need to, um, which one is this one? Because I never know which one is which. You go over there so your mama can get you out of there. Now they walking. Not all of them walking because she only learned how to talk so far. 
Yeah. But that's okay. I'm sure more will come up for like walk and talk and whatnot, and then we'll get that done. You can put her down. She having fun. No one's hungry. Well, they're not very hungry. Yeah. Well, son, I hope you had a very happy Halloween. Mama going to bed. I hope she got a chance to listen to some of that music. I don't think she listened to enough of it, though. But he's exhausted. I'm going to let him pee and go to the shower. And now I'm going to send him to bed, too, because he's tired. But he's happy about something. I don't know what just happened that he made him so happy. Oh, what is this thing? Sucked into the fourth dimension. Ah, oh, for the haunted house. Okay. That's cool. And also, we got these flowers, so we want to sell them. And he got school in the morning. Ugh. It's not too late, though, so it's not like he won't get a good night rest. He'll get a good night rest. Look at all that. See? That's why I love having older children, because Charlotte don't need to be running around all over the place. She can have her kids do it for her. Look at that. We got $5,000. Can we buy out one of those businesses? Because that would be fantastic. Um, no, we can't buy that one out. Can we buy the gypsy cart out? Let's see. No, we can't. We can woohoo in the caravan, though. <laughs> I don't think we even... um own the whole thing though because if we own the whole thing it would be three stars but that's okay we'll get around to that I wish they had like stock markets or something that we could buy lottery tickets but the thing is like Charlotte can't get out the house because there's too many damn kids and I don't think we need all these play pins I'm actually gonna put some up huh now everyone's going to bed the kids are gonna stay up oh we have got to pie train the kids though that's one thing we did not do Shots kind of tired, but we have to do that. And pie training's not hard. I wish there was something that would let the, the kids pie train themselves. Is there? Can you get something from the Sims 3 store that would teach the kids to pie train themselves? I don't think so. I think that's something you have to do by yourself. But um, if that is something, let me know. Because I would love to do that. That Uh oh. Ah, uh, Charlotte popping. There we go. Aw, <laughs> oh, look at that. She wants another girl. Well, we're either going to have a girl or a boy next, um, during this pregnancy. So, she's going to get points for something. What? I do not know, but she will. Pie train Madison. We're not going to get any points for it, though, because right now it doesn't say to pie train the kids. They want Maggie to learn how to talk. We're going to take that down, then. I'm going to put Maggie... In fact, we're going to take her off. And now Maggie got to go in here. Maggie, come here. Stop playing with them toys. Who is this? Another trick-or-treater? Oh, he had a Halloween party. He want to talk to us. I don't want to talk to you, though. Uh, no, thank you. I don't want to chat with you. We broke up. Oh, but by the way, I'm pregnant with your child. Let your hoe know. <laughs> Child's like, that's right. Talk to yourself. I ain't talking to you. <laughs> Um, would we get points for anything else? No. I'm going to send Charlotte back to bed then. I'm probably going to have her wake up in the middle of the night to, like, take care of the kids and switch them off of things and whatnot. But, uh, once they all learn how to talk and how to walk and are all potty trained, then we can age them up again. And then we'll have more children, which means we'll have more cribs free for when this new little bundle of joy comes into the world. Now, will it be boy? Will it be a girl? Will it be twins or triplets? Will it be a mix of boys, a mix of girls? Will it be all girls again? All boys? We won't know. We'll have to wait and find out. Okay, so we're back. And I've been having Charlotte wake up all during the night. And Maggie learned how to talk. And I think this is funny because she's like, there's an option to play with the water in the playpen. And the option is really Charlotte standing over them and like making fun of them that they're trapped. Like, you're in jail, haha! Ha. I'm not letting you out. You're trapped. <laughs> and I'm like, that's not that's not cute. That's not nice. But I am gonna pick them up and take them out now. She wants to buy high chair. High chairs are useless. Um, pick up on the floor. Get the babies out of there. Sam went into her bed. Also, um, I actually changed the house a little bit. If you guys haven't noticed. 
Um, I expanded the the house um, by one uh, square foot each way. So Sam's room is a little bit bigger now, and I also put a uh, bunk bed since his little siblings will be children soon, since they're almost done learning um, how to walk and talk, and then we'll work on potty training. Charlotte has a little bit more room in her room as well. We uh, expanded this out a little bit, so the, even the um, nursery is a little bit bigger now. So, um, and we also painted the rooms over. Now they have real um, wallpaper, not just the free stuff. I didn't change this wallpaper yet, just because um, I, I, I will probably cut this room in half. Like I'll probably make this part the kitchen. This would be like the living room or whatever. I, I might put stairs over here. Since I don't know how I'm going to finish decorating this room, I haven't fixed it yet. Mom, yeah, it's okay for now. Um, I'm just so happy that everyone has a room now. Everyone has a place and space. And put her down, take her on out. Because she, she act like she don't want to come out. <laughs> no, I don't want to put her in the pen. I want to take this one out of the pen. Yeah, pick up Maggie and take her out of there. Because she's already done. The babies are getting tired now. This one's, um, she's not that tired. But she's a bit stinky. Actually... Pick her up and change her. Who else need help? I was kind of waiting for the thing to say, okay, go ahead and potty train, but it's not coming up yet. Also, Sam, I woke him up in the middle of the night so he could get something to eat, but the food went spoiled. So uh, he's going to have to have cake. Um, there's waffles too, but I don't trust the waffles either. Don't don't put her in a playpen. Put her down. Put her down. <sighs> We don't need a playpen right now. We'll put it away. We also saved the bed just in case. You never know when you may need it. There you go. Charlotte's hungry now. Um. Yeah, clean out that fridge though. Ugh. He better get used to this being his bed from now on. It doesn't matter which one he goes into, to be honest with you. He just needs to go into a bed. He made a both side of bed. He is so cute. Oh, good. She finally got off that thing because I wanted to move it over one. Yeah, that's good. And I wanted to move the door over one. So now the door is actually in the middle of the room. And I like that. That's good. Um, I also want to get another table because soon not going to be enough room. Uh, we we'll leave the whole thing because we got money now. <laughs> okay, so now I'm done setting up the house again. We bought a nice big table. Look at that. She's all ready to use it. She's gobbling that food down. Don't choke, girl. And she still need to clean all this stuff because she still left it dirty. And we already know her son's a clean freak. He eat, yeah, eat with your mama. How the kids doing? They okay? They're getting tired. And some of them need bottles. Um, he has school. There's no reason for him to go to sleep then. He can give um, all his little sisters bottles before school. Because I think he finished his homework. So he got nothing better to do. We're going to eventually have to have more bathrooms. Because there's just too many kids. Also, when we get more money, um, I would like to buy those, those all-in-one bathroom slash toilet things. Because that makes life easier. And when I do that, I can expand this into one big bathroom. And then have like four stalls here. And that would just make life a lot easier. He, is he a little clumsy? Because I thought he just tripped. No, maybe, I, maybe I'm imagining things. But I could have sworn he just tripped. Uh, but look at them. All have their bottles. He helped them all out because he's a good big brother. Now he can go to the bathroom. And uh, he can play with the blocks. He wants to bathe. Okay, so we'll let him take a shower then. But his school bus going to be here soon. I don't know if he got time for all this. We have not gotten child support in a while. Where's our child support? Okay, they're, they're getting anxious. They they want to go to bed. Charlotte, sorry. But, um... Pie train one. I think she pie trained Madison. Okay, we just got child support. I think that was only $500, though. Better than nothing. Pie train Marie. I put Marie in the crib. Potty train. Oh, Sam's birthday coming up. Maggie, then Maggie going in the crib. And we want to teach babies how to talk again. So we'll take out that playpen. And when they wake up, we'll put them in the playpen again. Yeah, his school bus coming. But he bathing now, so he probably feels a lot better. He could play with his blocks. Where's she going? 
Girl, you supposed to get pie trained by your mommy. You gotta wait. Stop crying. Stop complaining. She's a good mother to you and you and you making a fuss. For no reason. Charlotte done caught herself a little cold. That's not good. What about Sam? Sam just annoyed by the crying babies. He's like, ugh. I don't like my little sisters. You will get used to it. Get used to it. She she done. There we go. Put her in bed. I know Charlotte tired, but this ain't about you. It's about your kids. Where's his school bus at? I'll, it'll be here soon. I was starting to think like his school bus wasn't coming or he missed it and was cutting school. Look how nasty it looks outside. Okay, baby, there's your school bus. You have a wonderful day at school. I know he he's excited to get away from his sister. Is they crying and screaming all night long? Charlotte, I think it's starting to show just a little bit, not much, but it's obvious she got a little baby bump going on. Look at that. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, it's kind of funny. I feel like I can actually see Charlotte's tummy growing as I speak. Come on, you the last one, sweetie. Get off of that. Cause she got pee too. She, she's a little filthy. I kind of want to wake her up, change her diaper, and then put her back in bed. Cause she, yeah, she's a little bit dirty. Just a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna change her. No, cause then I may wake her up and then she'll be up and she'll never get her rest. There you go. Let's speed that up. Chat with Sam, snuggle Maggie. We ain't got time to snuggle Maggie right now. It's okay. Yeah, Charlotte's sneezing all over the place. That's nasty. Charlotte's gonna have to go right back to bed after this because Charlotte is so tired. I feel so bad for her. Has he been um doing hard at school? Well, he doesn't have to. He got A. And he's on field trip. No, nah, it says he has school. We don't know field trip. Well, maybe they're going later on to a field trip. I don't know. I didn't approve for a field trip today. Or at least I don't recall doing that. Anyway, see y'all about to knock out. There you go. I'm gonna let Charlotte take a shower and then send her to bed too. And then we can all take a nap until Sam come home. <laughs> How about that? It's a nasty raining day anyway. It's, it's one of those days where I don't care if she can go outside or not. But when she does wake up, we're gonna put, um, which one is this? Madison in the playpen so she can learn how to talk. And look at look at him, Rainflower Ivy, looking like a fool. But speaking of fools, we need to find another target. We're not friends with any other guy. And if Charlotte's going to have a baby soon, we need to meet more guys. I kind of want to send um, Sam to the bookstore to go buy a book for his mommy, which is the social networking books. So she has something to read, and she can read them while, um, oh, do that to improve grades. He got good grades, though. Cause she need to chat. She needs to find a next victim and baby daddy. So, I don't know. We'll see. The real problem is that everyone is kind of bad looking. Except for him. He's hot. And since he's going to be around for a long time, we could definitely squeeze some child support out of him. So maybe we'll just um, shoot him a few friendly text messages when Charlotte wakes up. Because he's fine. <laughs> Charlotte is such a good mommy and she's a multitasker. She's carrying out a fair. She's getting her freak on. She's being a mommy. Like she, like she is very good at multitasking. I'm proud of her. Don't no one ever wish no twerpers on me in real life. Don't anyone ever do it. But this is annoying. <laughs> Could imagine if they were human babies. I pop all you little suckers in the mouth. Come here, baby. Listen, listen, listen. I'm already here. There's no reason to cry. Like, I can't hear you. I'm right here. 